Hello everybody and welcome to the Thursday preview show for round 5 of the 2019 Formula 1 season. It is the Spanish Grand Prix at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. I was there during pre-season testing, many of you might remember, and I'm wearing the uh, sort of t-shirt, it's not really a t-shirt, is it? it's a jumper more like, isn't it? That was kindly got for me by my friends who were there with me at the circuit. It's the test day shirt and on the back, if you can see. Born to wild, born to be wild, I believe it says. Haven't really looked, to be honest with you. But this is going to be the year, the cracker of the year. The Spanish Grand Prix is the first official European race of the season, and boy, do we come here with the championship in a hot state between the two Mercedes. It's the first official European race of the year, which means the teams have brought all their new kit to the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. The motorhomes are back. And we're back to the familiar pre-season testing venue. Welcome to Catalonia. It's our first stop on the European calendar. After this, we go to Monaco. Then we can make a brief trip to the North Americas with Canada. Then it's France, Austria, Great Britain, Germany, Hungary, Belgium and Italy. And we round down in September before the flyaway start for Singapore, Russia, Japan, then Mexico, USA, Brazil, and the season rounds out in Abu Dhabi. The first four races, it's Bottas and Hamilton, two apiece, after Australia, Bahrain, China, and Azerbaijan. And that means the title looks like this coming into Barcelona. One point just separates the top two. Valtteri Bottas, 87. That point for the fastest lap in Australia, still counting. But Bottas and Hamilton spreading out the one twos at the opening four races. One point behind Sebastian Vettel is Max Verstappen, 51 to Vettel's 52. And Leclerc, fifth place on 47. Still yet to score. Antonio Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean, George Russell, and Robert Kubica. In the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes are 72 points clear of Ferrari, 173, Ferrari on 99, Red Bull on 64, McLaren 18, followed then by Racing Point on 17, 13 for Alfa Romeo, 12 for Renault, 8 for Haas, 4 for Toro Rosso, and none pois for Rocket Williams Racing. So a lot of news coming into this weekend about the possibility of not having the Spanish Grand Prix on the calendar anymore with news coming that apparently Zandvoort in the Netherlands has signed a deal to exclusively be the home of the first European race of the season the, of the Dutch Grand Prix. Now, it, apparently Zandvoort has signed a deal which means it has a May date, the first May date for the European season. At the end of this year, the Circuit de Barcelona Catalonia doesn't have a contract for a race for the Spanish Grand Prix. So, what's going to happen? Well, Chase Carey has since come out and said that two races will join the calendar next year, but the race will stay at 21 on the Grand Prix calendar. That means two races are going to drop off. Now, we know that Silverstone, Hockenheim, Mexico... And I even believe uh, Hungary and Barcelona don't have contracts going out. Italy have signed a contract. They're going to stay the home of the Italian Grand Prix from now on. Silverstone is close to a deal, as far as we believe. So the British Grand Prix looks safe. Hockenheim may drop off the calendar next year. So that's Hockenheim as a possibility. And in my opinion, Mexico is a very strong possibility as a drop. So Mexico and Hockenheim going off the calendar may then see uh, Barcelona stay with the addition of Vietnam now coming in, as well as this Zandvoort race for the Dutch Grand Prix. An interesting fact is that both the Netherlands and the Spanish have hosted 29 Grand Prix at their circuit, 29 now for Barcelona uh, and 29 for Zandvoort. So let's just see what happens with that. It's a very hot topic. All the teams now coming here this weekend are going to have a B car because this is the first European race. Everyone's going to be back with their new motorhomes and everyone's going to have massive updates on the car. One is going to be the fact that Ferrari are bringing a new power unit for their cars this time out. So even though Barcelona and Monaco isn't really a high power circuit, they felt that they need to bring an engine upgrade. So they have done. Mercedes have played it a bit safe. They haven't brought an update. As far as we know, they're going to wait until at least Canada, which as we know is a very, very demanding circuit for the engine due to the flat out nature. 70% of the lap is flat out. So... Mercedes are holding off on their update. They're going to do more R&D, which is research and development, and bring it to Canada. And then, But now, Ferrari have brought it to Spain. Let's see what they can do with it going into tomorrow's sessions. 
Now, also, Mercedes has set a new record. They are now the only team in Formula 1 history to score four one twos in a row. And the only team to win four one twos in a row at the start of the season. The closest we got was three. That was back in 1992 with the dominant Williams FW14B. Nigel Mansell and Ricardo Patrese winning races all the way out throughout that opening for three races. But now, of course, it's Bottas and Hamilton with four. Two to Hamilton in oh, quick maths, Bahrain and China. Two to Bottas in Australia and most recently in Baku, Azerbaijan. So, coming to this weekend, we know that Bottas is still one point ahead. That's thanks to the fastest lap point he got in Australia. Uh, so, it really is quite close to the championship. Anything can swing this weekend. And if Ferrari are anywhere near it, this is going to be a cracking weekend. Now, but because we were at the pre-season test, this isn't going to be your usual track guide. Instead, you're going to see footage of the F1 cars that we took. Now, they're going to be all different cars, so ignore it. But look at the turns as well. Because I was at the circuit, I'm not for the first time this year because we also did Silverstone I'm able to offer you an insight into how the elevation changes around this lap 29.6 is the maximum elevation change towards the back half of the circuit and boy does it show it's a very very good track here in Barcelona so let's take a look now at a lap of the circuit de Barcelona Catalunya <coughs> definitely be doing that again next year always doing pre-season testing now that is just beautiful the sound of the cars is unbelievable around this circuit as well so let's get into the coverage details we'll be back tomorrow for the friday practice review at around nine o'clock saturday practice review will be at uh, 1 30 going ahead into qualifying and then of course we'll be back on sunday for the race preview as well at 12 o'clock you can also watch it on Sky Sports Main Event and Sky Sports F1, as well as Channel 4 F1 for the highlights, and BBC Radio 5 Live, Sports Extra and Sports Main, and on the website for BBC F1 for all the radio coverage as well. And you can join us on Wednesday for the Grand Review podcast as well, with a complete wrap-up of all the weekend's developments. All of that tomorrow then for the Friday practice review. From us all here in Barcelona, bye for now.